Good day folks, here's version 2 of my hydrogen charging back EMF setup. So over here is my controller, which I'm taking advantage of this time because it only requires about 4 volts to operate. So right now I got it set to 180 hertz with a duty cycle of 3%. And this is just enough to trigger the coil's back EMF mechanism. And what I'm doing is I'm using this to feed a hydrogen electrolyzer here which is creating hydrogen slowly but surely and is storing it this is new um, the storage tank here which is feeding the hydrogen fuel cell and the hydrogen fuel cell is running the high voltage pulse module so it runs at about one volt here this is a voltmeter measuring the hydrogen voltage output and this is being used to charge a uh, 12 volt battery and to show you this is a high voltage this is near a 50 volt see you could see the spark. So this is, ouch, <laughs> I got a shock there. But yeah, essentially, ah, hold on a sec, it's because the rubber came off and if I touch it, I get shocked. So yeah, in other words, there's a lot of power here. I just take the shock. Okay, so now we're plugged in. And this is about, I measured it, it's about 60 volts pulses coming into the battery from the uh, high voltage pulse coil here operating from the hydrogen fuel cell. And what I decided to do this time is I wanted to take advantage of a half dead 9 volt battery to actually charge up the 12 volt battery here. So I'm using, you know, the, the, what's left over of the 9 volt battery and I'm basically using no current because I'm gating it pretty, pretty massively at just 3% duty cycle here and that's just enough to trigger our back EMF coil which operates the electrolyzer which creates the hydrogen the hydrogen gets converted to with the help of the fuel cell feeds the high voltage pulse module right here you can get these on eBay and that's charging my battery with the help of a diode over here so the battery doesn't back feed into the module here of course and essentially, if you'd want to ask me, well, does it self-loop? Yes, it does. And I have a previous video which shows a similar concept. The 12-volt battery is running the trigger and also receiving the charge. Since they're fully isolated, it was no big deal to um, integrate them. But this is another step. I want to um, make it, you know, uh, basically evolve it more if I can and this is another method I figured if I could recycle the batteries very similar to the jewel teeth but much more um, complex as you can see we're taking advantage of the water and the hydrogen here so I hope you enjoy and I will keep you posted this is just another method of using junk batteries and getting something useful out of it charging big car batteries so have yourself a great day all and I'm looking forward to your comments